ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. This is a, another video for our little SU Talk video thing. I will not be playing golf with friends as of right now, just because there's no one to play with. But in the meantime, I do hope you don't mind if we're still in Vice City. I personally like doing this in Vice City, so I hope that's not too much of a problem. <laughs> Ugh, apologies. I've been dealing with a slight cold past few weeks. These should be yellow. But yes, today we're going to talk about the latest episode of Steven Universe, Onion Gang. <laughs> um, now, I'm going to start this out right here and now saying I have never once seen or played any of Undertale. Now that that's out of the way, I don't know for sure if they ripped off the main character, the player character from Undertale, but just from a handful of images that I've seen, the resemblance is a little uncanny. Heh, <laughs> canny. Soup. Oh god, this is gonna turn into a food pun mess. Oh god. Well, it seems to be getting a little thick in here, like pea soup in here. So, might as well just get the puns out of the way. But, whatever. Um, interesting imagery. I've been seeing a lot of people going nuts over it. And it, the whole concept of Onion Gang, I gotta admit, really says something about snowbirds and their families. Which, might I point out, is a little annoyingly accurate. I'm from a part of Florida, or I'm from Florida, so yeah, snowbirds, send down your wallets next year. Yeah, that's always the running joke, is that to those of you who live year-round in the Northeast, who don't go south like those damn birds do, you occasionally get the one straggler who stays, who rolls around in a Crown Vic, who will always be eyeing on you. And the second you want to start snowboarding in the snow, I'm calling the police, as an elderly woman yells from out of her Crown Vic rolling around. Or Caprice Classic, for that matter. If you live in the Northeast and have seen it, or know what I'm talking about, you know exactly the trifles that I speak of. That's not to say all snowbirds are bad. And I'm sure there's a good number of them that are decent human beings. I don't know why there's an unnaturally high number of them that are complete idiots when driving, or assholes who are really too cheap to pay for anything. Looking at you, Canada. Looking at you. No, I'm being dead serious on that one. Past couple of years, it seems the Canadian tourists have gotten really bad with stealing shit. Not making that up. It's rather annoying. Wrong button. But, you never really see, or at least me as a Floridian, you never really get to see the reverse side of that. That being them leaving for summer. Or that leaving for the winter on their end. They only come up during the summer months and live down here where it's nice and warm, quote unquote, during the winter months. <laughs> when it's actually bearable. Assholes. But yeah. I gotta admit, though, it's interesting to see other characters, and I swear, half their names are a DBZ reference. Squash, people being named after food, soup, that is so a DBZ reference. 
to those of you who don't know, Saiyans are named, most of the time, hell, even characters are named after uh, food or kitchenware. Example, Goku's Saiyan name is Kakarot, which is a rough derivation of the word carrot. His father, Bardock, is literally Burdock. It's a type of root, sort of like ginger. Uh, Raditz, Radish, which is Goku's brother. Vegeta, Vegetable. Nappa, I know his name for something, and I, I swear I know it, but I can't think of it right now. Uh, who else? Who else? Who else? Uh... Tarbles is named after something in the Leafy Greens family. God, I can't remember. But not just food, but uh, like uh, Goku's granddaughter, Pan, as in frying pan, not as in pansexual. <laughs> or Vegeta's son, Trunks. Literally named after a piece of clothing. But yeah. I love the fact that they've given a little wink and a nod to Dragon Ball Z time and time again. And I gotta admit, the character designs were rather nice. Though it was a little creepy to some extent that they were smashing bugs. I mean, that's not an unchildlike thing to do do, but I also love how they took the opportunity to show that Steven's really too soft-spoken in a lot of respects to hurt even a bug. Now, to those of us Floridians, our current cologne is uh, Pete. Not... or D. Sorry, D. God, it's been so long. Has in... Mosquito spray. That is the creme de la chic cologne right now, if you will. Because Zika! Yes. But yeah, all bullshitting aside, it's really kind of refreshing to see other characters, new characters, and the fact that they actually have finally officially called him by his name in the show, Suitcase Sam, who's been this mysterious, somewhat, character who's shown up in episodes time and time again. I swear, though, some of the mischief and antics and BS that they got into, Onion, Onion's Gang and Steven, were straight out of Little Rascals, even down to the friggin' go-kart. Now, I've actually had some of the old, old Little Rascals. I've seen some of them, like the black and white days, after it was a radio show. And I'll tell you what, it was really entertaining. Really well written for its time. And even well written for today. One of the reasons I think that did was done was because Buckwheat, the black kid, was never really derived as a stereotype. Or at least I don't think he was. I've never heard any of the original broadcast, but I digress. I'm getting off topic. But, yeah, the trench coat gag, that's an old, old trope from Little Rascals Day. So it's really nice to see that the writers know what the hell they're doing. And it just gives credence to the fact that, yeah, people have a brain who actually write this. They know their audience and they know them well. But I think I've rambled on long enough working on this stretch of vice. If there's anything else that I may have missed, please feel free to let me know. Um, see, did that, did that, did that. Yeah. I do believe that has been it, so... 
I shall see you in the next video. Please, if you would, head over to Dio D Sun Hondo's channel. He does amazing artwork. Check out the video. Subscribe to mine and his channel because they're absolutely friggin' amazing for different reasons. And hopefully you have a great day. See you next time.